Well, like you said, you know, nobody expected Connor to play that game. I mean, we knew he had, I think he had a knee injury, some some type of knee injury going on around that time. So that, you know, didn't allow him to play um, to start the game off. And, you know, things, you know, chips fell the way they did. And, you know, it allowed Connor to come back in the game and, you know, pull an, pull an amazing comeback. I mean, I think Bruce caught the game winning touchdown. They Their kicker missed uh, missed a field goal right at the end that could have either put the game away or tied the game up. I'm, I'm not sure uh, what exactly it was. But that game was – it was freezing cold. It was a night game. And it was obviously we, it was a, a must-win situation for us, being that they were a team in the East and they were a team that you know it was at that point it was them, us, and Georgia coming out the East, and it was just a game that we we had to have getting on the road, a night game. We knew that you know we had to bring that extra fire with us because if not, we'll you know we'll eventually fall and become the third team at at, at that time. So we knew that we had to come out and you know start off fast. Made a few uh, big plays early in the game, uh, and then things slowed down for us. We got down, and then we ended up, you know, coming back and kind of did what he did and put on the show, and we won the game. No doubt. So, again, the 2013 season ended on a very high note. You guys beat Mississippi State, beat Florida. Again, I mentioned in a game where you had three catches for 69 yards and one specific long play I remember where you go up and just absolutely moss a guy. I love that highlight. But uh, – um, the game I want to talk about is the 2013 Clemson game. You know, obviously at this point you've learned, you know, you talked about it earlier, but you, you kind of figured out what that game really meant, the hatred between the two sides. But 2013 Clemson, you guys beat those guys pretty good when you're fifth in a row. What did it mean, I guess, just after the game? And knowing that was senior night for a lot of the big-time guys, you know, and it's probably senior night for a guy like Davion Clowney. Like, what, what did that mean to get a fifth straight win over your, over your hated rival? Oh, it was, it was great. I mean, going into their stadium, going into, you know, their home and, you know, being able to play as well as we did. And I think that that's the game that Dylan, Dylan started and played the whole game. And we didn't expect him to play at all. He came out and played, played well and led us, you know, essentially we beat him with our backup quarterback at the time. And, you know, obviously the next year he, he went on to be, to be the starter and did great things. But uh, that game was – it was a, it was a different feel. We knew that, you know, this is the last game of the season for us, and we knew that it was a big game, obviously, being our rivalry game, but not having our our leader in kind of Shaw that game, it, it you know, kind of gave us a different feel. But once we got got rolling and Dylan got, got back there and felt comfortable, with, you know, with the protection and with the with the throws and stuff like that, I mean, we, we clicked. I mean, things end up working out well for us. And uh, we end up coming out with a uh, win that game. 